Hey guys, it's Nesto and welcome back to yet another video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a wonderful day. So yes, today we're going to be talking about perspective and how you can use it creatively on a photo shoot using wide angle lenses. And I'm going to actually show you a photo shoot on how I use it creatively. So I'm going to talk a little bit first about what is perspective. And once we all on the same page, then we can move into the photo shoot. Ready? Let's begin. Before we begin, this video is sponsored by IREX. IREX is a company that was started by photographers who make amazing lenses both for photography and for cinematography. In this video, I'll be using the 15mm 2.4 manual focus lens. To get more information about this and all the lenses they offer, you can go to IREXUSA.com. What is a wide angle lens? Now, I'm pretty sure if you're a photographer watching this video right now, you know what's a wide angle lens. and but I want to make sure that I don't assume anything and I want to make sure that we're all on the same page. So I just want to get the basics out of the way and explain what is wide, what is a wide angle lens. So the simple answer is any lens that has a focal length that's a, that is less than or equal to 35 millimeter is considered a wide angle lens. So there are a variety of wide angle focal lengths and each one of them could be used in a creative way. Wide angle lenses, not only could you use it creatively, like I said, but you can also use it to solve problems. So I'm gonna give you an example of a problem that you will try to solve with a wide angle lens. Now, this might not be the greatest example because the example I'm thinking of right now is basically if you're indoors and you want more room, you would use a wide angle lens to give you that room. So for example, like if I widen my lens right now, you will get more room, right? So you will go from a, a narrow focal length to a wider focal length, and then you could add more stuff into there and you could fill in the rooms. Uh, well, add more of the environment into the image. And you know, like if you're trying to do a family portrait or something like that, having a wide angle lens could get all of those folks in the shot. So what is perspective? In order to have perspective, you need a minimum of one to two subjects in the frame. With wide angle lenses, you don't tend to photograph your subjects from very far. Typically, you are very close to your subject. So because you are so close to your subject, whatever is closest to the lens becomes larger and whatever is far away from the lens becomes much smaller. This perspective gives us a level of illusion, which as a photographer, we can then use to our advantage for creative purposes. That said, it's important to understand that because your subject is so close to the lens, this will distort the subject's feature and body parts. So have fun, be creative, and be intentional about what you're creating. Playing with perspectives allows you to exaggerate or de-emphasize certain features of a subject. So for example, if you're shooting a person that's very short and you want that a person appear very tall, shoot that person from a lower angle with the wide angle lens and that person would appear very tall. Now, flip side, if you also want to make someone that's tall appear short, you would shoot that person from a higher angle and that person would appear a little bit shorter. Now, obviously, if you're shooting a purse, uh, short person, you don't want to shoot that short person from above because if you do, then yeah, that person would appear a lot shorter than they actually are. So keep that in mind when you're working with wide angle lenses. So how could you use perspective creatively? Well, the first thing you have to understand is how does perspective distort your subjects? Now, when you're working with a regular person and not like a model, on a fashion photo shoot or something like that, you need to understand how to correct the perspective. So for example, like if I'm shooting lower, like I mentioned to you before, if you shoot lower to make the person appear taller, the first thing you need to understand that what is the closest thing to the lens? Well, the closest thing to the, to the lens would be the person's legs. So if the person's legs is the closest thing to the camera, well, guess what? 
that person's legs would appear very um, long, right? Now, that might be great for a fashion photo shoot, but it may not be so great for a regular portrait. All right, guys, so here I am trying to get a shot from a lower angle up, and I apologize, I'm shooting this by myself, so this may not necessarily be the greatest angle in the world, but it is what it is just for the example purposes here. So if you're shooting a subject from this angle, which is a low angle, you're shooting them from a low angle from their legs um, up, so you can basically give them that height that they're looking for, right? If they're a shorter person, you give them the height that they're looking for. Now, the problem with this shot is that from the lower angle up, the closest thing to the camera, like I mentioned to you before, is the legs. And now, well, more, more importantly, look like my hip here is the closest thing to this, um, to this lens. So, because the closest thing to this lens is my hip, what will end up happening is that my hip would appear larger than it needs to, especially with women, that may not necessarily be a good thing. So what you wanna to do to correct this angle or correct this perspective is rather have the, from the, from the hip, you wanna have them bring their upper body towards the camera. So but basically doing this, okay? Now what this does is bring the subject's face closest to the camera. And I'm sorry, I'm looking off there because that's where my screen is, I could see myself. In any case, it brings the subject's face closer to the camera and it helps per correct that perspective. So this is what I mean by correcting the perspective. Now the subject's body parts doesn't appear to be so, you know, crazy. And now you can use that wide angle lens to your perspective, to your advantage, not your perspective, but to your advantage. All right, guys, so it's getting toasty out here. So I'm going to jump straight into this photo shoot so I can show you guys how I use perspective to my advantage to create some fashion uh, photos. So let's get straight into this. I hope you guys enjoy it.
walking on fire Trying not to bend my feet I'm tired of fighting Saying things we don't mean You know I don't like it When you're packing your back And turning your back Calling me a liar Calling me a liar Trying not to let my feelings get to me Sometimes I can let them go So now I got these voices Now I got these voices in my head All right guys, like I said, it's getting toasty out here and I'm sweating like a pig. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Put some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Share the video with your friends and family. And guys, if you got this far in this video and you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, well, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.